get to our ETF spotlight this morning. We're looking at the iShares Consumer Services ETF, ticker IYC. Relatively flat over the last month as investors try to weigh Delta's impact on spending. Meantime, core holding Hyatt Hotels is higher this morning as Seema Modi has some details why. Hi, Seema. And Carl, this is a big bet on luxury resorts. Hyatt acquiring Apple Leisure Group, which runs a group of resorts from private equity owners KKR and KSL for a hefty sum, $2.7 billion. It's a deal that will double Hyatt's global resorts portfolio, specifically in the Caribbean and Mexico, where Apple Leisure Group is one of the largest tour operators uh, for packaged holidays. CEO Mark Hoplamazian saying the all-inclusive approach is very attractive to a lot of customers. And we have seen a number of deals in the luxury space. Earlier this year, Marriott adding 19 resorts owned by Sunwing Travel Group. CEO Tony Capuano telling me back then there is enormous pent-up demand for resorts from families. And then there's Intercontinental recently announcing plans to launch a new resorts brand. It's sort of a sign of where hospitality, the industry, sees growth as the return of business travel remains less certain. Also worth noting, luxury is where hotels are seeing the most pricing power right now. The average daily rate for higher-end properties up nearly 20% just in the last four weeks at around $350. So this deal, uh, certainly a vote of confidence for the travel industry as the Delta variant has raised concerns around future demand. Hotel operators are trading down over the past one week by around 2 to 3%.